Hey Pisces, welcome to March 2020 and happy birthday! Yay! Now, a number of negative patterns are shifting for you this month and no longer holding you back. The pattern though of being up one minute and down the next is still kind of going on here, especially with this Mercury retrograde until the 9th in your sign. So if you find yourself happy one minute and hopeful and then the next minute stressed and bracing for the worst, be aware that this can be the two fish swim in an opposite direction and this too shall pass. You are not alone. Many of us are feeling overwhelmed here with Mercury retrograde in Pisces. However, I do see in March progress being made for you to map out your future with the next steps in place. You are transforming your definition of success. Use your greatest assets, which are your creativity and your intuition, and let them guide you, and the results will astonish you. And it will not only lift you up and inspire you, but it will give you the needed energy to push forward. And remember, you're not alone here. Many of us are feeling overwhelmed at this time. So make sure you're sharing yourself with others because people adore you and they want to support you and want to remind you how valuable you are to all of us. Now, Mercury will step back into Aquarius on March 4th. Then he'll re-enter Pisces on the 16th and be in Pisces until he goes into Aries on April 11th. But when he moves direct on the 9th, things really start to get back on track and you're not doing this up and down thing so much. Things absolutely start to calm down the 9th on. Venus moves into Taurus on the 4th and this is good news. Then we have Daylight Savings Time on March 8th. Yay! <laughs> I love when we get that extra hour of sunlight at the end of the day. And you can start to feel the days getting longer, spring approaching, and that is good to lift our spirits. And then we have the Virgo full moon on the 9th. Now, this is where you could find yourself flip-flopping, where one minute you're like really idealistic and hopeful about your future and where you're going, and then the next minute you're just, oh, you know, walking on eggshells, you know, what's going to happen next. Take it one moment at a time and stay really present. Don't try to go out into the future and and because there's no power there. And when we go there, we can scare ourselves. This really is a very strong uh, full moon because the Virgo energy is in harmonious energy flow with the gang in Capricorn. It's trying to Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and Pallas Athena, the asteroid. And that's in the area of your hopes and wishes, your goals, mapping out your future. And so that is very encouraging. Then right after the full moon, a few hours later, Mercury stations direct. Yay! <laughs> this is good news because now communication is going to get better and things are going to be more clear and you're going to find that you're feeling more like yourself again and less anxious or stressed that you're able to be very present and excited about your future and this is good news and it's really important that you are you know taking time for yourself but I do see you getting tremendous support from other people like your partner, your friends, your family, any group you belong to. People are really on team Pisces here in March. You know, because we're all working with Mercury and Pisces and dealing with the retrograde, we get it. You know, like how emotions can feel overwhelming or just, you know, get really tired because Neptune pulls the energy out of whatever it touches and it's with the sun and it's with the moon at the full moon, it's exact coupled the, the sun on the 8th and then exact opposed the moon on the 9th. You know, so if you're feeling tired, rest. 
It's not a time to push yourself. It's not a time to, you know, be hardcore workaholic. It's not, the energy's not there for that. It's really a good time for you to meditate, to visualize what you want to manifest in this solar cycle because you're all on your solar return. That's where the sun returns to your exact degree of birth every year when the sun goes into Pisces and it hits between 0 and 30 degrees wherever your sun was at birth you're in a new solar return chart so the new energy is just coming in right now and so if you're feeling really tired because the old energy is is closing out and the new energy isn't here yet or the new energy is coming in right now you want to give yourself time to rest and recharge your batteries because with Neptune like this we're all going to need to rest and not be uh, you know, perfectionists over here with the Virgo energy and, uh, you know, just be obsessed with the details or, you know, obsessed with the future. You know, just like really important that we stay present and allow for the universe to bless you because the, you know, the, the Capricorn gang is in positive energy flow with the moon, which is so awesome. And in positive energy flow with the sun and Neptune. It's sextile opportunity. So this is a time, especially at the full moon and moving forward, where you can begin to see how you can map out your future and make your goals a reality coming in here. And this is very exciting. And the sun will exactly sextile Jupiter on the 11th. So it's in the full moon on the 9th and it's exact on the 11th. And that could be some sort of financial goal you realize, uh, some opportunity that comes into you, for you, sudden luck, sudden breakthrough, money, uh, you know, just a wish that you've been asking for is, is brought to you. With a little effort, you can make it happen. And that's very exciting. So that is really something to look forward to. And then the sun enters Aries on the 19th and we have happy spring in the Northern Hemisphere, fall in the Southern Hemisphere. And this is super exciting because now we're changing seasons and it's a cosmic day. You know, the solstices and the equinoxes when we get the new downloads from the universe and an uplifting of our atom cells and electrons and the new energy. And it's another sacred day to meditate on what you want to create in this new solar year cycle for yourself and what you want to see happen in your life till your birthday of March or uh, February 2021. And so take advantage of this because you could really use this energy to manifest your hopes and wishes, dreams and goals at this time in your life, making it happen. Now, another really powerful thing, March is amazing this month, this year, Saturn enters Aquarius on the 21st and Saturn will be in Aquarius March 21st through June 16th. Then he'll back into Capricorn again and stay there until December 19th and then he will go back into Aquarius for good and at that time Jupiter will join him which was which will be very significant and Mars is going to join him this month on the 30th, Mars marches into Aquarius. And so they're both going to be in Aquarius by the end of the month. And this is where you're being given the opportunity to catch your breath, figure out what it is you want to create in your life at this time over the next two and a half years before Saturn enters Pisces. Because that's when you're going to get an, another new 30-year cycle. Anytime Saturn enters our sign, it, it happens every 28 to 29 years, we're rebooting. And so when it's in something that's 12 signs from us, we're in completion mode or we're finishing things up. But it's still very social in status in the world because it's at the top of the chart. Once it enters our sign, we start to work on the inner being, the inner world. It's still in a very social part, even though it's behind the scenes a bit. It is. Um, it's still the top of the chart, and that's been going on since Saturn was in Virgo back in 2009. So here we are in 2020, and Saturn is 
giving you a taste of this, of, of working behind the scenes, or working on completing things, and finishing things up, working on your goals, and what you want to achieve and accomplish. Then the Aries New Moon happens on the 24th, and this is a new start with your resources, a new beginning. And it can be a new start with financial gain. It can be um, where you feel really strong with yourself. You know, you've just finished your birthday cycle and now you're in a new place, a new energy, and you feel more confident. You feel your self-worth increase. You feel, you know, you appreciate yourself more. You have more self-respect. It's also a new start with your talent, your gifts, your abilities your inner and outer resources and how you can use those resources which your greatest resources are your intuition and your creativity to manifest your dreams to make your dreams come true and to increase your prosperity and what's really cool about this Aries new moon is Saturn is in harmony with it Saturn is sextiling it now it is separated because Saturn's still at zero degrees and the new moon is at four degrees but it's on and you know, that is where, you know, the universe is, it's like the angels are working for you, Pisces. The, you have this guardian angel or guardian angels working for you behind the scenes to help you be more prosperous, to help you love yourself more, value yourself more, appreciate yourself more. Maybe it has to do with increasing your rates. Maybe it has to do for asking for a raise. It has to do with asking for more money. And they're like Archangel Michael's there, Saint Germain is there, and there's there's this energy of the angels are whispering in your ear, telling you when the right time to ask for more money or when to raise your rates or when to increase your prices. Something's happening here where you can feel the support of the universe encouraging you to value yourself more, value your products and services that you provide more and asking for more money in whatever it is you do. It's time to increase your rates. It's time to increase your prices. It's time to increase what you're doing so that you can see the reward of the financial gain that's happening for you. That's very exciting. That's really exciting. Jupiter is coupled with Mars and Pluto at the time of the Aries new moon. And so there's a financial blessing happening with you with the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. So here is another um, clue that it's about greater prosperity for you, greater financial gain for you, greater financial reward for you. And this is really exciting. I love what I'm seeing here for you financially. You could be achieving a goal that you want. You know, by the end of the month, you're achieving this goal. You're making your um, dreams come true. Or it could be like sudden luck, sudden opportunity. Something like amazing happens here where you're just like, whoa, I am like really excited. And, you know, this is a goal that I've always wanted or this is me mapping out my future and what I'm achieving and what I'm making happen and in this process of making things happen I am creating this opportunity for greater financial security in my life and this is amazing for you and another thing that happens at the end of the month too is Venus in Taurus is trining harmonious, harmoniously energy flow, positive energy flow with Jupiter and Pluto exact on the 28th. So that's another day where it is just amazing for you and, and it could be something that a project you've been working on or you know something that you're podcasting, broadcasting, writing, social media, anything that you're doing that involves the masses or working with others in a very social way, you find the reward. It's really exciting. So it's like it really, things really start to turn around once that Mercury goes direct for you. 
and it becomes like two different months in here in this one month and so it's very important that you are going with the flow and just staying on track and letting that mercury go direct on the ninth because the way your month ends is phenomenal and just amazing and people you're going to notice like people are just loving on you like they just appreciate you they they value you and uh they want to celebrate with you and you know it could even be like someone throws you a surprise birthday party and you, you didn't had no idea that they were going to do this and you just like you know walk into the room and everybody's in there surprise and you know it could be at work or at home or at a friend's house but it could be you know some sort of surprise in here with you where um, your friends throw you a party and they use it as an excuse because it's kind of like everybody needs something to look forward to here because <laughs> it's just been you know uh, winter and now um, they're ready to celebrate with you and are very excited for you and so receive the love receive the joy receive the happiness coming your way from other people because other people are really uh, just loving you this month and it's so beautiful so for those of you available for love it's on and it's big and you know that's why you want to be you know practice being grounded and not getting too you know whiplash with your emotions because you know there could be someone just phenomenal in here for you and just perfect for you could be someone that's very grounding and balancing and practical and fun can be someone that you already know uh, it could be a friend that turns into a companion it can be someone in your social circle it can be someone that uh, you meet through social media uh, you meet through where you hang out and you hit it off and you know the next thing you know you are seeing this person on a regular basis and having fun so be open to that be open to um, new relationship coming into your life for those of you coupled uh, you know I see this as a time where the relationship improves and that your partner is being very supportive of you wants to celebrate with you celebrate your birthday this is great you know go out to dinner together and you know celebrate your new solar cycle and mapping out your future together making plans together do something fun together party together because I just see your partner being really good and supportive of you and that's nice and career looks good too you know there's some sort of breakthrough coming in here with you some sort of goal that you've wanted for a long time or you're beginning to see how you can make your business grow or how you can get that promotion or start that new business you're beginning to see how you can do this and then you know the pieces really start to fall together as the month moves on and as you flow into April you you'll begin to see the financial support for what you're doing the financial uh, the money is there if you want to open a business or grow your business whatever it is you want to do you're going to have the financial wherewithal to make it happen so money looks really good in here for you and it is time for you to raise your rates increase your prices ask for more ask for a raise whatever it is once mercury goes direct by the Aries new moon by the end of the month raise your rates ask for a raise it's time health how is your health with Saturn moving into Aquarius it's going to give you an opportune time to work behind the scenes and take that rest time that you need or that uh, space that you need just for yourself so that you are feeling your best and going after your gorgeous future that's beginning to map itself out here spiritually take time to meditate take time to recreate and recreate <laughs> especially at that Virgo full moon is time for you to play have fun dream and let the universe 
know what it is you want to create and manifest and allow for them to continue to plant those seeds of timing and investment and it takes quiet time to hear the masters it takes quiet time to hear the voice of god the voice of truth which is never fear it's always love and peaceful and calm so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring and sharing my videos pisces you're amazing and thank you for subscribing you totally rock and if you haven't subscribed yet please do it helps to support the channel and it lets you know when i upload so until next time, Pisces, it just gets better and better and better as the month goes on. So hang in there, especially at the first part of the month, because it's going to be so awesome for you, and especially financially, as the month goes on. And happy birthday! <laughs>